Tuesday, November 28th, update on 12P. It's located now in the constellation Lyra. This right here, right? It left the Hercules and now it's a Lyra approaching, right? Vega. There's a lot of history in this constellation that I'm going to brush on. Look at the coma diameter estimate. It's now at 364,000 kilometers. This constellation is so little, but it has so much ancient, ancient histories to it. And this instrument is called Lear, Lear. I mean, Marcus Millenius, the one I follow, I go straight to him. He wrote intensely about this constellation. I mean, I'll pause it here for a second so you could read because there's so many others that I'm going to try to cram in into this that the music reach making his way even to the ghosts and of the dead causing the of hell to yield to his song. This is musical notes. The time of Apollo, Pluto, there's so much here that I'm not even going to try to discern fully. More could be found here, the constellation of words. Get into to this. I'm here in this video here. Found in Lyra Star Constellation. Now this this being is highly regarded in ancient Egypt. That's where you got the Sphinx and the statues that lined up, you know, like half man, half lion, half cat. It goes back ancient about the, basically the cat people. I mean, there's so much. You put down Lyra constellation, and it has so much of the war between the reptilians and them. How the reptilians from the Draco system, the war. I mean, times of Atlantis, Lemuria. It uh, is so fascinating the connection with our cats, music, sound. That's why I'm just flying by briefly because there's so much. I'm trying to make this simple as possible. Also, in ancient time, the musical instrument was. This instrument here, basic representation of the constellation, which was played back during the time of King David and Solomon, the ark was kept, and that was the music of the temple. So th there is a connection with this instrument and it goes back to ancient Greek music, the oldest song, and it still represented the instrument. And then we have the siren that lured men, sorry, they played that harp and lured men toward their death. They were like mermaids, Bagdology, which basically we, we have now. This instrument is very popular, been popular through ancient time. It's said that during that time, back then, that they were able to, with frequency of to move stones, rock, and uh, magical healing properties. You can see in the paintings that survived throughout history throughout time so this instrument goes way way back i mean this constellation is something else so much history i'm just touching the tip of the iceberg on history of this constellation and vega i mean if you even play this to the animal animals respond to the music the deer right here they're drawn to it I guess gonna catch her by surprise. She doesn't even know that deer is right beside her. See? Animals are drawn to it. It's a lot of reference to this instrument in the Bible. Psalms, music, it goes it goes both ways. Now, there's a video that I put out a long time ago. Oh, this this video right here, the Galactic Center is calling a musical mathematical note. And this is the music that came from the Galactic Center. Let me put the volume up. to the both sides the, like the yin and yang the good and the bad there's one thing they both know uh, there is a creator a god and apparently this musical frequency is sourced from the galactic center and also musical frequencies the right one affects the elements of water and some other elements which i talked about in prior videos too you know giving good thoughts to water so i just point that out that the comet is located in that constellation be good to do some research if you're interested the impact this constellation has this is a very important constellation in my book because it revolves about music how music affects the mind how the war between them the felines the cap the cat people from ancient time the reptilians which has control basically of this planet now one thing that has a lot of history a lot of mysteries so that's the latest i have on the comet and words that i'll put some links down below some of those sites i visited there's more much more links to it constellation the instrument the music frequency the galactic center the sound was next time